Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Sunday, November the 11th. I'm Clay Emo at Connect Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm a founding member of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. Right away, I want to say thank you and pay respect to all the veterans, those that men and women that have fought for our country, who have fought for the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. On this Remembrance Day, we are grateful. We pray for them and we are blessed by um, all those people, those men and women that have done, done so much so we can live where we live in this beautiful country of Canada. Speaking of beautiful, it is a beautiful day today. We wake up, it's Sunday morning, a beautiful day in Vancouver, and all is good in the Canucks world. The Canucks are still atop the Pacific Division with 22 points in 18 games. The Canucks are still getting secondary scoring from Jake Vertanen and Louis Erickson. Some of their demon are playing very well. Eric Branson, Ben Hutton, Troy Stetcher. Elias Pettersson is still the runaway favorite to win the Calder Trophy, even though he hasn't scored in two games, but that's that's a very small blip. Horvat's still playing well. The Canucks are playing well. Yes, you want to see them finish off teams like Detroit and especially Buffalo yesterday, but four out of six points so far in their road trip. Day off before they play in the Big Apple tomorrow against the Rangers. So, all is good in Canucks land. I'm in a good mood. It's long weekend. Still in a good mood. I'm always in a good mood, but I'm in a good mood today. And I want to shift the focus today away from the Canucks and to a tweet that I did a couple days ago. I had some fun with it. Work with me here, okay? I'm going to ask you to take one player from each of the seven Canadian teams. So obviously Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Winnipeg, Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa. So you can only take one player from each team. So seven players. And basically put together your best starting lineup so to speak so obviously you have three forwards two d-men one goalie and then one extra guy and you can make the extra a forward a d or a goalie but in essence let's say this is a fantasy team or whatever so you can um you forwards you, they, you can put them at any of the three positions right you can have three centers if you want or three left wingers i don't know why you do that but you can have three wingers uh you need two d and one goalie but you can't obviously um you know put forwards as your demon or, or whatever you know what i mean so just work with me i know this is completely hypothetical but i think it'll make some for some really good conversation and i did so on twitter when i put it out a couple days ago i got a lot, a lot of really, really good responses almost two or three dozen responses so my team would look like this up front i have connor mcdavid from edmonton austin matthews from toronto and elias Pettersson from vancouver thought about bo horvat thought about brock besser but right now i have mcdavid Matthews and Pedersen. Then on the blue line, I have Thomas Shabbat from Ottawa and I have Mark Giordano from Calgary. So that's my blue line is Giordano and Shabbat. I don't even know if they both left left side defense and right side defense. It doesn't matter. I just put those guys together. For my goaltender, I have Connor Hellebuck from Winnipeg. And then for my, my extra guy, I have Max Domi from the Montreal Canadiens. So again, my forwards are Pedersen, McDavid, Matthews, and Domi. My defensemen are Shabbat and Giordano. And my goalie is Connor Hellebag. So let's talk about these very quickly. I don't know how you can give up uh, a, comp uh, a chance to put McDavid and Matthews together. We saw what they did in the World Cup a couple years ago. How electric they were every time they were on the ice together. Their speed, their skill, no-brainer to me. And then when you add Elias Pettersson to that, I think it's a wicked combination. You know, all three are good playmakers. All three got good shots. The speed, especially with McDavid, I, you'd say you could argue that Matthews and, um, and and Pedersen have the good shots. Well, McDavid has obviously an awesome shot, and you could argue that McDavid and Pedersen are the better defenders of the three. It doesn't matter. We're splitting hairs here. Let's go with McDavid, um, Matthews, and Pedersen across the front. For my D-man, I'm very I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm not sure if I'm happy. I'm impressed with the way Thomas Shabbat has been playing, especially in the you know absence of Eric Carlson. In Ottawa, and Mark Giordano, I, I've always liked him. I think he's solid. He's be the best of the Calgary Demon. He's the most consistent. So that's why I have them as my D. You guys know I'm a big Connor Hellebuck fan. My cousin Dusty was the Winnipeg Jets goaltending coach for a couple years. He got to work with H uh, Hellebuck and Hutchinson. But I really like Connor Hellebuck. I have him on, and on my fantasy team. Um, been ha had him for a, a few years. So I really like his game. So that's why he's my goalie. And then I need a Montreal Canadian. I thought about Petrie on uh, defense or Petrie. Um, I thought about Carey Price, but why do you need two goalies on a fantasy team, especially for a fake fantasy team? And then, uh, that, and I like the way Max Domi started the year. Now, so I put that on Twitter. I got some really good feedback, um, and that that's the way my team shook out. I contemplated, 
using Carey Price as my goalie, and then now my extra would have to be a, a, Montre a, a Winnipeg Jet. So then you could look at uh, Mark Shifley, uh, Blake Wheeler, Patrick Laine. And that's actually what a lot of people did. They had a similar, um, th the two things I noticed when in the responses, you had similar thought up front, at least McDavid, uh, for sure, no brainer. And then probably Pedersen or Besser, but probably Pedersen. And then what happened a lot for a lot of people is they put Carey Price as a goalie because you could, I think it's safe to say that in the Pacific Division, I'm sorry, not the Pacific Division, but of all the Canadian goalies, except maybe outside of Anderson, you know, these are goalies that play for Canadian teams, I should say, you would say Price for Montreal and Hellebuck were the two runaway favorites. So I saw some people have Price as their goalie and then for a Winnipeg Jet, it was either Line or Wheeler or Shifley up front or some of you actually had uh, Dustin Bufflin as a Winnipeg D-man. So then, and and instead instead of having, so it could be a Bufflin and Shabbat combination, and then that means you need Calgary Flame because I had Giordano, and then some uh, a lot of people had Johnny Goudreau. So I think those were the biggest changes from mine. Is a lot of people had Price as the goalie instead of Hellebuck, and then they had um, one of Line Sh Shifley or Wheeler as a forward instead, or Bufflin is a D-man, and then the, the Calgary Flame, instead of Giordano, I saw a lot of Johnny Goudreau, but obviously McDavid was a no-brainer for Edmonton, Pedersen right now, no-brainer for the Canucks because of how hot he is, and then the, and then for uh, Montreal, yeah, Price instead of Domi. And the other thing that I found very, very fascinating, I don't know if it's an anti-Toronto bias or an anti-Leafs bias, but many people did not have Austin Matthews up front with McDavid and Pedersen or, or Goudreau, whoever it may be, Instead, they had Morgan Riley on D, which makes sense. Morgan Riley is an awesome start to this year. Um, and so we had a lot of Riley Bufflin combinations or Riley Shabbat combinations or even Riley. Um, uh, yeah, Riley, one of those two combinations were often Riley Shabbat or Riley Bufflin. So then you use Morgan Riley, you can't obviously use Austin Matthews. So that I found that interesting, but a lot of people justified it by saying, well, you already have McDavid, you have Pedersen, then why not put a Winnipeg winger up there like Line or, or Wheeler or Shifley? So a lot of interesting combinations. Canucks fans and hockey fans, just having some fun with this is, an, is a slow day for Canucks news. So I would love to see your lineup below. Just put it in the comments below. And remember, you can only use one player from each of the seven Canadian teams. They don't have to be Canadian-born hockey players, obviously, but one player from each of the Canadian-based NHL teams, three forwards, two demon, one goalie, and one extra player. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply to them. I'd love to see the combinations that you come up with. I'll put my combination in the pinned comment, and you can comment on that one as well. And we'll go from there. You can explain or justify as much as you want, or you can just Plas, blast, uh, plas, plaster or blast the seven names down there and let other people go to town with it. Anyways, I love to read, react, and reply. Canucks day off, play in New York tomorrow. Looking forward to watching them play on Elias Pedersen's birthday. You know I'm going to share my new song for him a couple times tomorrow and we will go from there. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. And enjoy your long weekend. God bless and go Canucks go.